So there I was doing my Docker test on the new Mac Studio, the M1 Ultra chip. This was against the Intel 12900 machine. And it seemed like the Intel machine was doing pretty well. If you didn't see that video, you can check it out. I'll link to it down below. And this is why I really like some of your comments, folks, because a lot of you folks know a lot. So I wanted to take some of these comments to the test. First of all, just a quick recap. Here I've got the latest version of Docker installed and it's using all the default settings, okay? This is a 64 gigabyte Mac Studio, by the way. I should mention that. Now, I have a personal project that I'm building. This is a project with uh, three machines, a database, a front end, and a back end. And I'm using Docker Compose here, the build command, and no cache so that it rebuilds it every single time. When I build it, it takes about 166 to 168 seconds when I do that. Well, here, I'm gonna go ahead and build it and we'll see how long it takes. There we go, it's done and uh, it's reporting as 163. As a side note though, this is what Docker reports as the time, total time for building, but I also added the time command this time, and the time command is reporting a total of two minutes and 44 seconds. I think we should probably follow this time from now on, but I also wanted to show Docker's time because that's what I reported in the other video. Moving on, Andreas Lowe, wow, two of those little symbols in his name. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, Andreas. But he says Docker is slow on a Mac. You can improve it a little bit by enabling the experimental feature new virtualization framework. Cool. That's available under experimental features. There it is. New virtualization framework. We can give that a shot. Philip over here, Pakurar says that we can enable the Virtu, Virtio FS. I don't know how to say that. Virtio S. Virt, Virti. We can enable that feature, <laughs> the accelerated directory sharing on Docker. It's also an experimental feature and it's available right here under the experimental features. Let's try these things, okay? So if I check that one, uh, it checks the first one automatically. I guess they go hand in hand, but you could probably use that one without Vertio FS. Huh? Let's do this one and see if that makes a difference. So I'm gonna apply and restart. That's gonna take a bit of time. It's enabled. Let's run this build one more time. I'm not gonna do anything else, but run the exact same command with no cache. Let's see. Look at that, folks. Look at that. One minute and 23 seconds on that one. That's the Docker Compose command reporting that time and uh, two minutes and four seconds according to the time command. So 40 seconds or more faster using that new setting. Well, I'm going to have that enabled, I guess. That's pretty cool. There is one more thing. If I go to resources, I, I am using all 10 CPUs that was on by default, but by default, this assigned only eight gigabytes of memory to Docker. Now this machine has a lot more available to it. So we're going to crank this up. I'm going to crank this up to uh, let's go with 48. And I think that should be plenty. Again, I got to apply and restart and we'll see how much adding more memory will affect this test. I should probably also time how long it takes the engine to restart because uh, it seems like I'm waiting a long time for that to happen. Okay, the engine finally restarted. Let's kick this off. I need a little help here. Ha <laughs> ha, the Schwarzenegger to the rescue. There's only one computer today, so let's go. A bit of an inside joke there. And of course, if anybody hasn't heard yet, and if you're curious, while this is building, the fans are staying at the same speed, around 1300 RPM. This has always been the case. They really don't change. I, I can't get them to spin faster. It's pretty crazy. And the temperature here is staying at a nice cool 44 degrees Celsius. Here's a breakdown of all the cores if you're interested. And that program is TG Pro. Affiliate link down below if you want to pick up a copy. Well, it's done, but it's actually one second slower. So adding that memory did not really help us. And that's probably because my images, my containers are not really memory hogs. You know, they're pretty small. I can imagine that with the other test I did, where I spawn up 100 instances of the containers of the web worker, the .NET web worker, that's where the RAM would probably matter more. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video like that, uh, digging further into that. But for now, with my particular workflow, the memory is not an issue. However, this experimental feature is definitely a welcome change. Now, I am still curious though, is it the virtualization framework that did the improvement? Or is this first? First shear fest accelerated directory sharing that 
helped out. So I'm going to disable this, enable this one, and we'll do the test to see what the difference is. Okay, we have our result and it's 129 seconds reported by Docker and two minutes and 10 seconds reported by the time command for using only the virtualization framework without that second experimental feature. Stefan Hainosi says it's pronounced Virtu FS. FS. Still can't do it. I just messed up Stefan's name too. Now I really owe a lot. So there you go, folks. Enable both of those features. They seem to be doing well if you are on a Mac. And I certainly will enable these. There we go. And apply and restart. I'll come back tomorrow when that's done. Thanks so much for your comments, folks. Really appreciate the insights and the constructive comments and all the folks that have great suggestions. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. We'll certainly be doing more testing. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.